Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer, we all were numbed. It was a difficult reality to accept, but she remained very positive for herself and for the rest of us. She said, don't worry, I'm going to kick cancer's ass. Woo! <laughs> for all of you who have the pleasure of knowing Riley, she never fails to use her witty humor to make others laugh through any situation. As this new challenge in Riley's life has risen, she has joked her way through it. Most of the jokes were highly inappropriate. <laughs> there was this one time before her first chemotherapy, um, she was talking about playing beer pong in the room with other cancer people. <laughs> and she said, okay, I'm gonna do some tricks. I'll bounce it off the bald heads, leukemia, the <laughs> like, what do you What do you say after that? Highly <laughs> inappropriate. Um, as shocking as that statement was, it is a perfect demonstration of who Riley is. Riley takes life so simply and wonderfully. She possesses a divine beauty that permeates her kind heart. Riley has incredible strength, both physically and mentally. She is someone who makes everyone feel like a somebody through her altruistic nature. When she shared the news, the entire chapter wanted to get involved. They wanted to show her love and support. Then the support grew and people across the nation wanted to help too. Though this may not be the Greek award you thought you were getting or you didn't think, <laughs> I thought it was a pity award. <laughs> <laughs> this is much more honorable. It is an award that brought people from all parts of the nation together. You are such a light in this world and we all want to see you keep shining. Together, we will kick cancer's ass. As a collective community, we raised $13,523.50. But don't don't worry, it doesn't stop there. I um, was writing the check and I had to like redo it at least three times because it kept growing and I was like, oh, this is awkward now, she has more money. And <laughs> So actually, wow. just two days ago, um, someone donated $300 to, so that was awesome. And um, in addition, there's a place called Riley Craft Pizza downtown, and um, it's owned by a former Sigma Kappa, and she's like, wow, that's awesome, her name's Riley? Yeah, I want to help, she's my sister, I want to help out. So they started this fundraiser and made a pizza just for you. Um, they also made a cocktail just for you. <laughs> They sold out at least three nights, they said, and they're like, I'm sorry, like, we can't, can't give you that pizza anymore because we sold out because everyone loved it. Um, and I just went and picked up the check, and they raised $1,625.25 for you. And I would just like to say, it is my honor to present the Brown family with a grand total of $15,473.75. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I would say we're pretty dang close to kicking candies. <laughs> With everything going on and her being uh, in chemo yesterday and we didn't know about obviously you guys know she just came from the hospital literally we just left the hospital and came straight here um, so we didn't know any of this I mean we knew there was some award that was happening but we didn't know what it was 
So they kept us in the dark too, and they tried to get Jim and Connor down here, which we tried to figure out, but it was so expensive <laughs> that we just didn't do it. And you know, this will go a long way to covering the hospital bill last night. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You guys are amazing. <laughs> what an amazing chapter, a group of young women, a group of really close friends she has. And it has really um, made us feel comfortable. You know, it, it's hard to be in Seattle when your daughter's down here doing what she's doing. But knowing the kind of support that she had with the friends that she has and what you guys were all doing to support her made it so much easier. Uh, to do that, to leave her here when we would get on a plane and go home, because that's not easy. And so I just want to thank you all from the bottom of our hearts for all of us from the Brown family. I know Riley's going to be able to talk here in a second. <laughs> I'm going to talk first while she gathers herself. But um, I just want to thank you from the bottom of our heart for the support, and this will mean a lot to our family for what's ahead. And so... Thank you so much, and we're going to send her back down here in the fall with an amazing group of women to continue to support her, and we thank you for that, because she'll be back here in the fall for school. Uh, <laughs> you guys are amazing, the first off. Um, yeah, when I was first diagnosed, they said, you should not go back to school, especially since you live in a sorority house. And I said, no, no, these are really special people that I live with, and I can't, I would not be able to do it without any of you guys. So that's why I said, no, I'm going back to school. Trust me, it's what's best for me. And it really has been, and I cannot thank you guys enough because the, the support that I've received from all of you, whether we're close friends or not, it's just been absolutely so, thank you guys. Thank you guys for everything you've done in the past months. It's really been a lot, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I'm so blessed to be a part of this sisterhood, and I hope you guys all feel the same after today. And I hope we all grew closer today after everything, and this is what it's really about. So, yeah, this is really what it's about. about. They just, just to let you know, Katie is wiping her stuff. <laughs> 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 <laughs>